starting weeks from Crediton, a professional gardener, and coming out to see what's to be done about rewilding this church. Um, I'm going to have a wander around, see what's going on. Um, if you'd like to come with me. And the great thing about rewilding in a churchyard is that it's about creating a natural habitat. So it's so it is about working with the nature rather than wholesale changes. Rewilding is not a new theme, but there is a growing trend from large areas of farm and woodland to gardens and even roadside verges and roundabouts in a city setting. See here we've got the ferns growing here. We can encourage these to grow out here and um, we've got to strim the grass every year, but we can, if we, the less we strim it, the more we're encouraging the wild flowers and, and ferns and foliage to come out into the um, onto the lawn. See here we've already got flowers and come in. This is what we're trying to encourage, things like this. And hopefully the less we strim it, the more they'll come back. So we have a, a well-established apple tree here, which is good. And it would be good to plant up some cherries and maybe a couple more apple trees for uh, the um, birds and the bees love the blossom. One of, one of the major things about rewilding is to encourage our native um, uh, animals and insects to flourish. We have a crab apple tree and just look at the berries on this. There will be some happy birds feeding on them this winter. You don't need such a big open space to um, rewild areas. You can just have a, a windowsill in a flat in, in your home. It's all about encouraging wildlife and insects everywhere. This is down St Mary Churchyard where the rewilding project has been underway for some time now. As you can see there is a pathway for people to walk around but the banks and other grass areas are left alone. They get strimmed maybe once a year. We'll leave the churchyard for now. We'll come back in the spring and hopefully we'll see an abundance of snowdrops and daffodils.